Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to get serious for a little while and talk about safety in your Tesla. I do a lot of product reviews and accessory reviews on this channel, but I really want to talk about something that uh, I've seen come up on social media recently, and that's about how to exit your Teslas in the event of a power failure. Um, if you get stuck inside, and God forbid, if you get in an accident, something like that happens and you're not able to use the electronic door releases to pop open your doors, either in the front or the back. I have a little boy, a little boy who's five. And I realized after seeing some of those social media posts on Reddit and Facebook that I've never taught him how to get out of the car um, without pushing that button. He can push the button all day long and the door pops open. But what if the battery ever dies? What if we get in an accident and those doors don't work and I can't be there to help him get out of the car? I really want to take the time to talk to you guys and instruct him specifically on how to get out of the car in the event of an accident. Um, all Teslas are required to have emergency door releases. There's an emergency release on the front doors, which are pretty easy to find. Those are pretty visible. Um, you kind of pull up right uh, underneath your door handle there. There's kind of a latch you pull up. And I think people in the front seat would be able to find those pretty easily. In the back seat, it's much more difficult. There's door pockets down inside those door pockets. There's a flap. It's really difficult to actually even know if that's even there. One, if you don't know what's there, you're never going to find it in an accident if you need to get out of the car. And two, um, if you're not sharing that information with your passengers, your family, they're at serious risk. If the car gets in an accident, catches on fire, something like that happens. I've seen that across the internet too. So today I want to talk about where those latches are and something that I purchased with my own money to help kind of uh, assist those rear passengers in finding that latch. Let's get into it. So first things first, I want to talk about the front doors of your Tesla. This is the passenger side front door, and it's kind of hard to see in the shadow, but there's an emergency release latch right here. If you're ever in a situation where your actual power button is not working, if your car's dead, your 12 volt battery dies, you're in an accident, something happens and you need to manually release the door, this is what you pull up on. Um, there's great videos online, I'll try to include some, maybe overlay in this video, but if you pull up on that, it drops your window a little bit and the door has an automatic manual release, lets you out of the car. Um, I've read about stories of people getting trapped in cars while the car is doing like an update and it says you can't open your doors. If you're ever stuck in the car and your power's not working, pull up on this latch, you'll easily get out of the car. Simple. So moving to the rear doors of our Tesla Model Y, this is where I really wanted to kind of emphasize some points in this video and highlight some areas where I made some mistakes as a parent. Um, I haven't talked to my son about where the emergency release latch is. If he ever needed to get out of the car, if I wasn't able to help him, and the door button wasn't working, how would he get out of the car? I've never explained that to him. So take this as a sign. Sit down with your kids um, at five and up, four and up, and really kind of make sure they understand how to get out of your Tesla in the event of an accident or the power stops working. I've also made another error where I added some door pocket liners to the inside of the doors of my Model Y, helping to cut down on crumbs and toys and stuff getting stuck in there. And I realized it's just another layer of an obstacle that someone would have to overcome to even find the uh, door relief latch down in there. So we're going to get rid of those. I'm going to take those out. They're not needed. Tesla already has a little liner in there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So there you can see the door pocket liner that I had installed as an accessory in a video a long time ago and never gave it a second thought. But we're getting rid of these now. I don't need them in the car. Um, my son's not that messy, so we can easily, you know, clean up if we need to. Let's find a good way to get this out. All right, you wrestled it out of there. Um, that would be impossible to do in the case of an accident. When you're disoriented and something happened, get rid of that, not need it. So after we got that door liner out of the way that I added, you'll see that Tesla already includes a door liner kind of down in here, down in your door. If you move that out of the way, if it's not stuck down by sticky fingers and stuff, you'll see this little like access latch. I'm gonna try to move the camera in a little bit closer. Let's see what I'm talking about. There's a little access latch down here. Now, if little fingers, I think, would be almost impossible for to teach a kid or walk through this with a kid um, in the event of some reason, you know, to get them to move all this stuff out of the way and open this latch. This is crazy. And then you have to find this latch, get a finger under there, pry it open. And then on mine, I have a, ten, a 22 Tesla Model Y. This little cord here with this little foam bit on it, that's my emergency release latch. It's hard to get down here near. It's hard to pull. You can pull it a little bit and that'll open the door for you. But that's it. You can see a little bit of silver cable on the back of it, and that's exactly what we're looking for. Let me show you what I got to attach to this to make it a lot easier to open in the future. So after seeing these posts on social media, 
I saw a lot of people went and bought these little uh, cable extensions, I'll call them, from AliExpress. Um, that's where I got them too. They're about, I don't know, eight or nine dollars for four of them. Extremely, extremely cheap. But what they do is they offer just a little bit of an extension um, on that cable tie. And it's way down buried in there. That would be almost impossible to find in the event of an accident. So you got four of them. And they're just a little Velcro tie. What it says here it says a manual door release with a little extension on it. And then a nice, robust kind of metal uh, clip down here. I'm trying to see how it opens here. Oh, so a little kind of retention clip. So that's super nice. So I'm going to go put this on that little cable where that foam tab was. Make sure it's wrapped around in there. And then I get all this extra space that I'm going to have kind of just channeled up out the door pocket where a passenger or my little guy can actually see this um, big yellow thing. And I can just tell him, pull the yellow lever, pull the yellow string, and it'll open up the door for you. Only in the event of an emergency. Let's go throw this on the car and we'll see how difficult it is to put on. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do this looking through the camera, but my goal is to take off that little piece of foam that's on the back there, or if I don't need to, I might not, but then really kind of attach this metal circle um, around the little loop that's down in there. I'm going to work on that. So hopefully you can kind of see what I did there. I just loop, see if it'll focus down there. There we go. So I have this loop around the actual, there you go. There's kind of the cable tie. I had to remove some of that foam. I'm going to focus the foam that was around that cable tie down there just so it doesn't get i think the point of that foam is one for like soundproofing you're not hearing it rattling around all the time and then um just to make sure you're not losing it down in this cavity down here but i just took the ring that came with my uh, kit that i got from aliexpress hooked it on the loop of that cable tie now i got a nice long extension here that's brightly colored that can be seen easily i'm going to kind of tighten this up a little bit and back out the camera so you guys can see how i have it set up so this is kind of the final setup. I just have that you know, the door liner down in here, just like it was. It came from the factory this way. And if you look under it, I just kind of have that strap coming up off the side of this little trap door, this little hatch, just kind of sitting right here. So it's still easily kind of viewable by passengers or my little guy back here or any, anyone else we're carrying around. And just kind of like to organize it where you can see it just a little bit. If you ever need it in an emergency, it's right there for you. I just quickly want to show you guys that I went ahead and did this on the passenger side rear door as well. Ran it kind of the same way, hooked it onto the emergency release cable down inside the door, and ran the little emergency release tab just out the front of the door trim liner. I think it looks really nice and clean, um, but now your passengers or anybody could easily find it and easily see it when they get in the car. It says right on there, manual door release. So just the peace of mind having this accessible, I think it's going to be worth every penny. Well, that about wraps up what I wanted to talk about in this video. I want to leave you guys with a promise. Uh, I'm going to promise to talk to my son, my five-year-old son, about what these emergency release latch cables are for, how to get out of the car if he ever needs to, um, in the event of a power failure and his button's not working, how to get out of the car. Never had that conversation with him. And I think at five years old, he's able to understand this is an emergency. This is something I need to do. Um, you guys saw my struggle with opening those little hatches, pulling out the door liners, pulling up the actual liner that comes from the factory. And I'm a fully functional adult male, at least I think I am. And I struggle with it. So I can't imagine little kids trying to get out of a car like this um, and trying to like talk them through it. If you're up in the front and they can't get out and you can't help them, talking them through it's going to be very difficult. So that's my promise is I'm going to talk to my son, make sure he understands how to get out of the car. If you haven't had that conversation with your loved ones, your kids in the back seat, um, this is your sign. This is your sign to go ahead and have that conversation. Don't get me wrong. I love Teslas. They do a lot of things right. I think they're very safe cars. Um, a lot of the reports are very or over exaggerated about, you know, things catching on fire and accidents, but I just kind of wanted to have this as like a peace of mind for me and my family. So I suggest you do the same. I'm not going to have any affiliate links or anything like that down in the description. That's not what this video is for. This is just more of your knowledge and hopefully your skill building to talk with your family. I will have a link down to these little straps that I got from AliExpress, just so you can find them easy. Um, it's not an affiliate link or anything like that, but just want you guys to be safe as well. Thank you so much for coming back and tuning into this video. Um, always feel free to like and subscribe if you like this content. I got more cool product or videos coming up, more happy stuff, but yeah, just wanted to take this on a more serious note this time. If you guys have any questions about these straps or any concerns, hit me up in the comments. I always love hearing from you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one.